one of the greatest reformers of all time to walk the earth, John the Baptist. And Zechariah begins to prophesy over his child. And then in verse 80, it says this, and the child grew and became strong in spirit. This is not talking about his spirit. It is talking about the Holy Spirit. This is a capital S. It says he grew and be, became strong in the spirit and he was in the wilderness until the day of his public appearance to Israel. Now listen, I believe the Western church, the church all together has the wilderness so twisted. We have the wrong idea about what the wilderness is. And we think because the Israelites went in and it's the place that they were met with an angry leader and God and there was a discipline and it went from days to 40 years that the wilderness is a bad place. Here's a new perspective for you. It was not the wilderness that was bad. It was the Israelites that were bad. They were the disobedient ones. The Bible says when Moses is going to Pharaoh to go and confront him, he says to Pharaoh, let my people go for my God is bringing his people into the wilderness to worship. Ha! Ah, see, God was delivering his people out of slavery and into and out of bondage into the wilderness. Did you hear what I just said? God was setting his people free out of Egypt and into the wilderness to encounter his people so that they would worship him. Not only that they would worship him, but he had plans of encountering them in such, such supernatural ways. He had plans of healing them. He had plans of restoring them. He had plans of providing them by a cloud by day and a fire by night oh church it was the wilderness the wilderness was the plan all along by God to bless his people oh to protect his people but because the American church we don't like to be uncomfortable we don't want to be uncomfortable and the wilderness seemed like this desert type place it was it was on purpose. It wasn't supposed to be the IG beautiful vacay with the palm trees over the clear water. You want to know why? Because the Israelites or the people of God would have looked to the land for the wonders. They would have looked to the land for the provision. He on purpose took them to a place of the wilderness that was barren with no flowing streams, with no trees, with fruit on it. Because he said, this is the place. Oh, this is the place. I'm going to reveal myself to my people as Joseph. Jehovah Jireh, as Jehovah Nisi, as provider, as healer. Oh, the wilderness church is a place of the supernatural. The wilderness is the place of consecration. Came to tell you this morning, stop rejecting the wilderness. Stop rejecting it, church. He has wonders for you in the wilderness. And he has wonders that are coming after the wilderness. See, the wilderness is a place that he reveals himself to you. Five ways God reveals himself in the wilderness. The first is this, is God encountering, encounters us in the wilderness. 